In cars, pedestrians, and people on bikes, they're on the rise this year. It's an important time to remind people of ways to stay safe on our roads. Sam Luther is in the newsroom tonight. Sam, you're catching up with KPD, and some people are kind of worried about this. Troubling numbers already this year. Yet, yeah, Tedeman, the reality is when cars and people on foot or bikes collide, oftentimes they're resulting in serious injury. It's got some taking safety into their own hands, doing the best they can to stay out of harm's way. It's the perfect time of year for a ride on the bike or a walk, but with cars on the road. There's concern for some that have already had a few close calls. But there are numerous times where I realize they don't see me and I screech, I have to really suddenly stop. And then they always look up like, oh, where did you come from? Caroline Cooley is always cautious when riding her bike, fearful of what's happened all too often as of late, injuries to pedestrians and cyclists. Oftentimes we don't have witnesses or we don't have good witnesses. Uh, these things happen so fast. Less than two weeks ago, 23-year-old Quentin Fields, a pedestrian, was hit and killed on Henley Street. KPD says this year alone, five pedestrians or cyclists have been killed. The easiest way to avoid that is paying attention, uh, that both drivers and pedestrians. And these wrecks are seeing a major uptick. This year alone, 77 crashes involving cars and pedestrians. Last year, there were 55 in total, with cyclists already 21 this year, only seven last year in total. What am I looking for? I'm always... <laughs> riding very defensively. I assume no one can see me at all. This is what investigators say not to do. A man we caught on camera sprinting through a crosswalk, sudden quick movements, making it tougher for drivers to spot. But there's easy advice for avoiding an accident. Tried to make a little eye contact with each other, especially if you're the pedestrian. You know, if you're if you're looking at that driver and you can see them looking at you, well, they probably see you. Now, these crimes can be tough to investigate, according to Knoxville police, saying that a lot of times there's not any witnesses or credible ones to validate a story that they're hearing on the scene of that accident. KPD says that at times, guys, this can take up to a year to investigate before there's a final decision made. Uh, so frustrating. Sam Luther reporting for us tonight. Sam, thanks. TWRA.